So from time to time in your applications, you will need to list up some resources in a table or in another list with some cards, whatever. And uh, sometimes the data you basically need to uh, show on these specific cards or the rows of the table uh, can be very complex, right? Some, sometimes it's just a database uh, call. Sometimes it's a very expensive call. And sometimes you also need to aggregate data and combine all these things together, right? And then you have something like all these JavaScript frameworks, React, Svelte, and you can uh, fetch async and all that stuff. Uh, that's the nature of these frameworks. But um, we don't want to hassle anymore with these frameworks. It's not JavaScript that's the problem. It's basically the whole ecosystem. It's not that fun anymore. It's just way too complex, right? And we completely opted out of that. And we are writing everything, as you already know, in uh, HTMX Temple and Golang, with HTMX Temple in Golang, right? So basically, let me show you an example. So we have um, our buy side marketplace. If we click this, you can see that these cars are basically being um, rendered uh, asynchronously right they are basically lazy loading actually if you want to if you want to call it like that so let me do it again if i re refresh the page you can see that these cards are um, loaded based uh when they are ready right uh, because otherwise the user needs to wait until uh the most computational heavy card is being loaded and we don't want that we already want to show the page and we want to show the trades that's all already being uh aggregated and completed and calculated computed right because you can see it's it's a trade you need to calculate we need to do some some expensive queries we also need to fetch some external services populate the complete chart uh, and all that shenanigans so it, it takes some time and uh, that's basically what you need to do sometimes so how do we do that well it's like i said it's written in a goal line uh, with temple and hgmx is the only thing you need People say, yeah, but Anthony, in HTMX, you are using JavaScript. Yes, I know. Of course, we are using JavaScript. JavaScript is inevitable. There is nothing wrong with JavaScript itself. You can shoot yourself in the foot in every single language. Uh, it's the whole ecosystem, right? It's the whole server side, client side. It, it runs on both sides. You have no clue what the hell is going on. It's just, I don't even understand uh, what kind of a morons that basically created that thing. So right now, everybody is basically trying to find a way out to go back to where it uh, started, which basically Laravel uh, or, or some other frameworks like Ruby on Rails. Uh, but of course, we have Golang, which is way better, way faster, statically typed, compiles everything into a single binary. It's all you fucking need. Right, so let me show you how it basically works. So let me open up the marketplace index uh, handler here. Uh, just like that. So what, what's happening is that we are going to fetch all the funding requests and we're only going to get the IDs, right? And what we're gonna do is we basically going to render the marketplace index page with only the IDs of the funding. It's this is straight, but it's called funding request. All the IDs of the funding request that match uh, the filter here. You know what I mean? You can see the filter works all all done with HTMX, no single line of JavaScript has been written. So basically what's happening is that we are rendering each time you can see, we are rendering uh, some, some kind of a placeholder card. You see, this is the trade card, right? And what's happening with this trade card is that we are gonna have, you see, this is basically uh, the card we are loading, right? So when this is refreshed, we are loading this thing in, right? And what we are gonna do is we are going to do an HX get to the marketplace trade with an ID, right? So all these IDs are going to basically spin off a get request to the backend and we are going to do the computation and return the same card but with a data loaded uh, boolean check to true set to true and that basically means that all the data is available and then we show that data we just swap out with htmx we do an, uh, we just swap out the card with with the the card with the data inside of it that's basically how it works right you see that we do a load we swap out the outer uh, html and this is going to be swapped with this card here. You see, data loaded, we just render all that stuff beautifully in the card, in the card, right? That's basically how it works. So you go to Marketplace Index, you do the query with all the uh, IDs that are basically uh, matched the request, right? The, the IDs you wanna show. You render the card with basically an HX get that will basically do a get request to your server Based on that idea, you're going to aggregate everything you need and you're going to basically just return only the cart 
and it will swap out with the new data. That's basically how it works. And the filters, just the same thing each time. You're gonna do a boom, a post request. And in this, uh, in this case, basically, it will do a post request and it will just refresh only this, the, the list basically, right? And uh, yeah, the, the, what we're gonna do in, in, in the future is basically do an endless scroller where each time you scroll, you're gonna load more and more and more. You know how that works, right? Uh, so that's basically it. So you can see that um, I spend a lot of time in navigating the HTMX Golang space because people say it's only for to-do list, but that's not true. Um, we are this company is, it is basically worth 300 million right now, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the only thing that matters is that we can build this with a small amount of people, right? We don't want to hassle with all these side effects that the JavaScript ecosystem brings. We just want to write typed, statically typed code that compiles everything, even the assets, into a single binary and just deploy that on the server. And we have no head issues at all. And everybody can read it and everybody can write it. And there is only basically only one way to do it. Um, so we are saving a bunch of time uh, doing this, right? Uh, so, hey, if you want to learn more about this, I have the course, which is uh, in the link down below. It's the Golang HTMX course where we build a complete application from scratch uh, with HTMX. And all these concepts are basically being teached how you can set up your project, structure your project, and how, you, how, how HTMX works and temple and all that component and swapping stuff. So if that's something for you, hey, looking forward to see you there. If you like the videos I'm providing to you, please consider to subscribe to my channel, Leave some questions in the comments and uh, follow me because I'm going to extract everything that we learned uh, by building Lavenue into a beautiful framework that basically can compete with Laravel and um, Ruby, but that's basically in the making. I'm not gonna release anything yet. I'm first going to make it pinpoint perfect and then boom, I'm basically gonna drop a bound in the tech scene and everybody can basically be as productive as we are. Hey, thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Cheers.